and reserves. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Another point that I think uh, merits uh, observation is as we speak with the 18 days remaining, the Senate, rather than working on ensuring that we get a better NDAA, but more importantly in this co context, because that process has kind of played out, rather than figuring out how we're going to deal with FISA and reform it to make sure American civil liberties protected, we have the Senate in negotiations with the White House on figuring out what crumbs we can be given for border security to be attached to Ukraine funding while Zelensky is paraded around Washington trying to demand more money for Ukraine when our border is wide open. So the Senate has plenty of time to hold themselves here in negotiation with the White House so we can beg for crumbs for the protection of our sovereignty and security of the people of Texas and the people of this country. But we don't have time to figure out how to fix FISA. It's pretty extraordinary. It's pretty extraordinary. And in the meantime, in this very bill is $600 million authorized for Ukraine. Now, I'm actually not personally all that troubled by those provisions. We supported them in the authorization bill in July. But I would note, importantly, to my colleagues on this side of the aisle, a majority of Republicans opposed an amendment for the continuation of that funding to Ukraine in a September vote on the floor. A majority of Republicans opposed that funding. And yet, we are authorizing it here on the back of a number of provisions that we don't support and on the back of FISA being piled on the top of that defense authorization bill. For the life of me, I do not understand why this is how Republicans think we should end the year heading out for Christmas. I reserve. Gentlemen, uh, is the gentleman to recognize?